so far we characterize point, vector, orientation, configuration, those other things, right? Now we need to talk about velocity, okay? Um, <clears throat> before that, we are going to talk about rigid body velocity and the uh, one very useful way to characterize it is twist or spatial velocity. That may, some people may, be, it's maybe hard for someone to, to understand its meaning, but I would like to encourage you to think first from something that you're familiar with. Um, let's say I have a, a, a ball, okay, like this. It's rotate like this across around this uh, axis, right? Why have you thought about why we define angular velocity like this? Did, did, have you questioned about this before or you just accept it? Why we well typically in my mind, in I really, maybe when we we were in high school or middle school, um whatever rotates, right? With in our mind is some rotation axis and how fast it rotates around that axis, right? Um that's enough. So why we define a vector like this and call that a rotation uh or angular velocity. You know, what, why is the case? From the cross product. I want to, I mean, I'm not sure whether I correct. Okay, so for me is that it's just one parameterization of all the velocities of the points on the body. Okay, if I specify like this, this is the parameterization. All you want is you characterize every point velocity. They're all different. Okay, they're all different. All of them, they're all different. I don't want to memorize billions of velocities to characterize it's the whole body velocity. So I, all of them can be written as omega cross the, suppose this is the origin, okay? Point this, right? So depending on where you are, you multiply by this, that's how fast you rotate your linear velocity. So angular velocity, but depending on who you ask, the, for me, is, is just one way to parameterize everything on the body, okay? And you can generalize this thinking into rigid body because you may not, your origin may not be here, okay? You may be some other place. So we're just trying to characterize all the velocities on a rigid body. Okay, let's get started with that. Uh, still using similar formula, Let's, uh, uh, let me resolve that again here. Let's say this is my, okay, this is my rotation axis, this is my omega, <clears throat> and I'm rotating, uh, <clears throat> this is what? Counterclockwise. Okay, now I'm going to say, uh, suppose I have a point P on the rotation axis, okay? And uh, the body is just uh, this part. The body is just this part, okay? Just uh, this part are the bodies, okay? The P is on the rotation axis. And uh, I'm going to ask you, what's the velocity of this Q? Okay, V of Q. Now we have a few things, right? We have a point, we have a, a, a vector v of q, we have a free vector rotation, ax, a rotation angular velocity omega. What's the relation of, uh, of vq relate to p and uh, omega? I think you can write it down, right? So vq is just this. If you look at this, you draw, um, Suppose we use v, this VP is his velocity of this point, linear velocity of this point. This axis may be moving in the space, 
okay? They had the linear velocity. And uh, uh, I, want to, well, I want to ask an arbitrary point on the body is linear velocity. And this linear velocity can be represented by VP, the reference point velocity, plus what? This is omega cross PQ, this vector. Okay, if I solve this. All right, so the relative, uh, yeah, that's, that's basic physics. I think everyone can accept that. This is VQ equal to VP plus omega cross that. So rigid body contains all the points on the body. We want to characterize all of them. They are related. They are not all independent. They are not all free velocity can be moved arbitrarily, right? They are on the rigid body. There are some restrictions or constraints among their velocities. So we can represent all the points velocity by two things. Uh, basically three things, okay? But, but essentially, if I fix a point, reference point, suppose a fixed reference point on the rotation axis, then it's all the points velocity on the rigid body can be characterized by omega and the linear velocity of that reference point. Are you with me? So this equation is fine, right? So I choose a point, I know, suppose, okay? It's like you choose a coordinate frame, right? You choose a point, and I know that velocity point. Sorry, the velocity of that point. Then I know the angular velocity omega. Then I know every single point linear velocity through this formula. Okay? So if I ask you, what's the visibility velocity? You shouldn't, but you, you may be confused. Okay, well, well, there's so many points, which point you ask? Okay, but you want to represent the whole velocity, then it's just angular velocity plus a linear velocity at a certain reference point. Okay, and here it seems simple to us is because we choose the reference point on the rotation axis. But we don't have to do it this way. Um, let me let me let me let me just explain that. Resolve this again. Okay, this is omega. Before we say this is our Q, right? This is our Q. Uh, this is our P. I hope you are fine now to represent every point's velocity using what? Using P velocity and the angular velocity. Now I'm going to ask why I pick this P. I may pick somewhere here. Uh, I may pick a point, uh, let's say, R here. This is my reference point R. Okay. I can use this one as a um, reference point to express every rigid body velocity of, sorry, uh, to express linear velocity of every points on the body. Uh, the point I'm picking is arbitrary in, in the space, okay? It may not be on the rotation axis, it's here. It may not be on the, on the body, it's just here. It doesn't change even. It can be moving, this point can be moving, it's fine. It just instantaneously it's located here, okay? Now I'm going to explain a, a definition that confused most of the beginners including myself when I, when I start, okay? It's purely about grammar, okay? I'm going to ask you English questions, okay? Fujian. I say VR is the velocity of the body fixed point currently coincides with R. What is VR? VR is the velocity of R? No. What? Then what is it? It's the velocity of R related to the frame of 
Okay, is the velocity all there's R here, just don't confuse them, okay? They are different. Velocity of the body fixed point, VR is that body fixed point velocity. What do we mean by body fixed? It's recently, a, what's going on? Uh, it's recently attached to the body. It's called a body fixed point. Okay, it's it's rigidly attached to the body. Think about there is a point, virtual point. Okay, the point is virtually or rigidly attached to the body, so it moves with the body. Although it's not on the body, think about there is a point. Somehow you have a a frame that connect them or rod connect them and they rotate or move the same way as the body. And that that virtual point. Okay. And the key is that it this point currently, only currently, okay, coincides with R. It may move differently as R. Suppose R is a another frame, or is an R maybe you have a different velocity, okay? The physical R point, this is the point. Okay, this physical R point is the different is different from the body fixed point. There are different things. It's just at this moment, the body fixed point coincides with this R. Okay, I'm not sure how much you can get that. Uh, if you understand that, you can understand everything about uh, twist. Well, at least the one way to think about twist. Uh, we'll continue after the break. Okay, let's continue. Uh, this uh, reference point VR, that's very important. It's the velocity of the body fixed point currently coincides with R. This R may not be body fixed. Okay, does that confuse you? Yunhan, does it make sense or not? Once you see homeworks, once you see examples, they will confuse you, I'm sure. Now it's fine. If you listen, it's fine. It's just when you start to, to solve problems, then I'm, I'm sure there's a hundred ways it can confuse you. Um, <clears throat> uh -huh. It doesn't matter. It's a point it has nothing to do with the body. They're completely independent points. So these two things, the only thing they ask is currently they are located here. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah, in space, does not move. Yeah, of course. They can be stationary or not stationary or anything. Okay. That's the key to understand this part. All that matters, you are trying to think about the velocity. There is a body fixed point currently coincide with R, location-wise coincide, right? Maybe next moment they are different. That's fine, right? Okay. <clears throat> now the question we are trying to answer is that, can we pick a point, reference point, not on the body, okay, in the space, move or not? maybe not moving with the body. What, how can we use that as a reference point to express the speed or velocity of all the points on the uh, reason body, okay? So <clears throat> now I'm going to find a few relations for you. Uh, by our previous derivation, we know VQ is what? VQ is VP, that's our previous derivation, right? VP is one on the rotation axis, plus omega cross what? PQ, right? I also know, what about VR? VR is the velocity of the body fixed point currently coincide with R. What, what's it, what is VR? If I still use P as the reference to express all the velocity of the rigid body, 
the, the VR is the velocity of the body fixed, so it's on the raised body. VR would be what? VP plus omega cross VR. Do you agree? That's my VR. Think about there is a point recently attached to the body and currently coincide with R. So we can draw this arrow. Doesn't mean this point is on the body. It's just we are thinking of virtual point. Let's call the virtual point uh, this circle. That circle is recently attached to the body, right? And it's currently coincide with that uh, the black dot. Okay. So <clears throat> that's by our derivation. We can use this P as reference to express all the reset body points velocity in this form. And then we can say, okay, VR, if I say I want to relate VR with VQ. Okay, so what we say is that, okay, VP is VR minus omega cross PR. Right? And then this term goes down here, that's plus omega cross PQ. Okay, that's VR. If you think I move this out, so plus omega cross PQ minus PR. What is it? PQ is this vector, minus PR, this vector is what? Is Q, uh, RQ, right? So, <laughs> right? PQ minus PR is R2Q, right? So overall we have, huh? Okay. Overall we have, this is VR plus omega cross RQ. Okay, so it's this formula. Is this the same as the previous one? If I choose P as a reference point. Okay, so the conclusion is the following. No matter what point I choose as a reference point, I can always parameterize all the linear velocities of the body points in the same formula, which is the velocity of that point. Well, of course, I currently coincide with whatever, okay? Body fixed point coincide with that point. That's the velocity of that point plus omega cross a vector starting from that reference point to the point that you want to represent, okay? So this formula should be everything you need to uh, remember for now. <clears throat> so mathematically, instantaneously at this stage, the body can be regarded as translating with the linear velocity vr while rotating with angular velocity omega about an axis passing through r. I'm not sure whether so, so where I mean what's the rotation axis? It depends how you think. Right, you can think currently the whole reason body velocity. You can think is as if uh, it is rotates about axis passing through R and with a linear velocity R. These two will be the same mathematically, the, the expression will be exactly the same. Okay, I can pick any arbitrary point to use the linear velocity of that point and the angular rotation around the axis passing through that point to represent the reason body velocity. Instantaneously, we can think that way, okay? Um, <clears throat> let me... Um, oh, let me think. I think I need to... Okay, I want to jump to the example. Maybe you still need some background... Uh, sorry, notations before I can talk about the examples, okay? So spatial velocity, which is a twist, starting from this page, I deviate from 
uh, Richard Murray or Lynch way of introducing twist. They are more from, as I mentioned, from geometry, from from math. Okay, we're from following more Roy Featherstone's physics stuff. All right, you think about <coughs> spatial velocity. We call it spatial velocity, which is the same as twist. Okay, it's considered of two things: is the linear velocity part and uh, angular velocity. But they also need to know there is subtle thing is which is the reference point. Okay, the linear velocity is the linear velocity of a body fixed point currently coincide with the reference point. It's all about understanding that sentence. I'm repeating many, many times, maybe in the future where I'm going to repeat more. <clears throat> so this is more about uh, Featherstone. You can read his book. I think everyone has, can find the PDF version of the book. Uh, I don't think I spell this correctly. Right, feather stone. Okay. <clears throat> and twist is more, let's say, Marie Lynch. They use twist. Uh, they're the same. Okay. And twist, I'll call them interchangeable. Okay. Twist or special velocity is a physical quantity, just like linear and angular velocity. And it's a free vector. You can think about twist as a vector. It's not a point, it's just distinguish point from vector. So twist as a vector is, well, let me think. You can move to different frames to represent it, okay? It can be represented in any frame for any Trojan reference point. A rigid body with this can be thought of as translating that while rotating angular velocity about axis passing through R. So the actual rotation axis is up to you to define. You see what I mean or no? Okay. For example, if I say this is my physical, let's say, rotation axis, this is the axis, right? And uh, you think, oh, I, I can think about this, um, this reasonable motion instantaneously because this guy may be moving, right? The rotation axis may change, right? So suppose at this moment, you think this is more physically intuitive for you to think this is the rotation axis. But if I write like this, mathematically, as if this body is moving here with the rotation axis passing through R, mathematically, the two things are exactly the same at this, at this stage. What I mean by that is all the points, linear velocities, can be used the same formula to, to represent their linear velocities. Okay, you will, you, you, I think you will get to know more about this uh, later. So <clears throat> then uh, it's a physical quantity, as I mentioned. So I need to, if I want to have a coordinate, it's a vector, right? I need to have a coordinate to represent this spatial velocity vector. Then I need to choose a reference frame. So given the frame O, uh, typically we use O like the inertia frame, okay? And the special velocity, I use a script, the Kelly version of V is twist or special velocity. Uh, this is, as I mentioned, this will be R6. Okay, it's a vector in six dimension. Uh, <clears throat> we choose as a convention, it doesn't mean we have to do this. We choose as a convention that the origin of the frame as the reference point to represent visibility velocity. So in this case, what does this imply? Uh, <clears throat> so um, let's see uh, what, this notation is a little bit weird, okay? Then um, let's say I choose the origin as a reference point. Then uh, let's say I have a rigid body motion. So this O is my reference point. It may not be on the body. It may be moving or not. 
If inertia frame, typically the frame doesn't change. If I use a other frame, the frame may change as well. I mean, this O may have a velocity or not, doesn't matter, okay? So VO, we use that as a reference point. So any location, let's say VQ, this is a Q. With, for them, what do you think its velocity is? If I use VO as a reference point, What is VQ? VO plus omega cross OQ, right? OQ is Q in that frame. You see what I mean? If I choose the O frame, why we choose O? Uh, <laughs> Why we choose the origin as a reference, then the point becomes, uh, the representation of the point becomes natural, right? You see what I mean? So that's the formula expressed in frame O. And you should know what this means. The velocity of the body fixed point currently coincides with O. Does O attach to the body? No. It could be, but it's, uh, it, it's not necessary. OK, so that's whenever we say, let's say, v of o, or let's, uh, let's use another notation, let's say, v of a, that always means I represent, omega is a free vector. I represent omega in a frame, that's easy. And I represent uh, the linear velocity also in A frame, but the linear velocity depends on what reference point I choose, and the reference point I choose is the origin of that frame. Okay, there's other things you need to read in the book. Um, I think that uh, let's let's start with the app, uh, a more concrete example. Suppose I have um, let me let me draw this a little bit. Suppose uh, I have uh, Spinning top, okay. Uh, let's call this uh, O frame, and this is my Y O X O hat. This is my Z O hat, okay. That's our three vectors. Um, to further confuse you, I will say there's another frame here. This is my X A frame, okay. Uh, this is my YA hat. This is my ZA hat. Clear? Okay. Suppose this spinning top, spinning top, it's omega rotate around this axis is uh, 50 right per second. Okay. Um, no, I actually give you more uh, numbers. This is uh, L equal to 40 centimeter. I'm going to ask you what's the twist or special velocity of this spinning top. Is this a rigid body motion? Yes. Um, <clears throat> so the question is what's the twist of the spinning top. OK, uh, we can do different things, right? Let's say the simple one, choose O frame. OK, so we need to say, what's the top, the velocity of the top? in O frame. So I need to specify two things, right? So basically, this is the vector. Uh, I will fill up this gap. Uh, I will fill up the, the elements later after we calculate it. Uh, <clears throat> we can also choose, uh, 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 let's see. So this will be omega, let's say omega, 
at O frame and the V O at O frame. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna ask Typhon, what is omega in O? Hmm. Zero, zero, fifty right per second, right? Well, we can drop the unit, but let's keep it. Is that true, Yun Han? Yes. Omega O is this? Uh, okay. Now the question is, what is uh, V O in O? Yun Han. You don't need to calculate number. What does what does uh? Uh, o. Uh, yeah. How do you, how do you compute it? V V O plus plus omega, plus omega. Plus. cross. Which is zero. <laughs> okay, you are on the right track. I'm asking you to this one. What is VO? Of course, if you use that formula, VO is VO. Okay, I'm asking you what is VO. By definition, okay. by definition, what is this? By definition, the velocity of this point or not? It doesn't move, it's zero. This point doesn't change, okay? Only motion is due to the spinning top spinning, right? So what's the velocity? That's why I ask you to really understand that sentence. The velocity of the body fixed point, a virtual point, currently coincide with O. Next time may not coincide, that's fine. What is the velocity of body fixed point, current constraints? Think about this thing is super big, right? There is a point, there is a point here currently rotate with this spinning top, what would be the velocity? That would be simple, right? So it should be pointing to this direction, right? Uh, because uh, will be, let's see, it uh, should be 40.4 times, uh, not 0.4, uh, yes, it's 0.4. Uh, or it's too much. Let's say 40, this is four, sorry. Okay, four is uh, zero point zero four curl times what? Times uh, 50. So it's two, right? It's two. So it's in which direction? In the X O direction. And you want to express in O frame, so it will be here is two. What about other coordinates? They are all zero. Okay, that's the confusing part for many students, including myself at the beginning. You think oh, this guy doesn't move? Why they has a low velocity? I'm not asking you that point velocity. I'm asking you this twist, right? Twist is a parameterization of all the points' velocities. It has two parts. One is the angular velocity, the other one is the reference velocity. That reference velocity is defined as the velocity of the body fixed point currently coincides with O. So it's not O velocity, it's a body fixed point velocity currently coincides with O. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's do another frame. Let's say choose A frame. Okay. What about the twist in A? Of course, that will be by definition omega in A and 
V of OA in A. Notation will get heavier, but I hope that's clear enough. <coughs> this is O of A, right? Sinhan, what do you think this time? I'll give you an easy task. Okay, what is omega in A? Negative 50, 0, 0, right? Or positive 50? Yeah, okay, good. 50, 0, 0. Um, <clears throat> what about uh, the next one? V, O, A of A. Body fixed point currently coincide with A. Okay. For the new, uh, no, definitely you agree. You two should always not agree with each other. So that <laughs> will be right or not? You don't know, or you just. Okay, a body fixed point. Actually, V O is body fixed point currently coincide with that location. Does that point has a velocity or not? Things is rotating like this. No. Okay, that's zero. Okay, hope you can get it. Any questions? Hongbo, no questions. All right, we will leave some space for other example here. Okay, let's uh, let's do one more because you really need exercise. <clears throat> this is taken from uh, modern robotics, the figure. Okay, so I'm going to ask you in this case, what's what's v of car, the, 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 the twist, okay? And the V of car in S. Um, can you understand the physics? Liu Ben, what, what does this, what's this motion? Can you introduce to the student? There is a car, right? This car. This car is moving. It's all, yeah, it's almost like he's rotating across, around this R axis. The axis is uh, pointing outside, right? Outward, not inside into the paper, it's, right? Upward. Okay, this means that. So it's like this. Um, and there's a frame here, it's fixed, doesn't move, okay? So now we need to find what is the uh, velocity. Let's say first, um, I will say car rotates about omega hat. <clears throat> so V car, that's the first one we need to show, find V car with respect to in B, uh, two part, omega B and uh, V, B, this is O, B, okay? If I want to use more clean, clear, means you need to know, specify more things. So O of B, <laughs> the origin of B, okay? Um, <clears throat> first question, Sun Han, omega B, Uh, this is omega, right? It's the physical vector here. What? Where is the z-axis of b? Yeah, that's like that, right? So it's uh, inside because you use right-hand rule. The z should pointing into the paper. 
So this is a uh, rotation is upward, so it's negative. So it's uh, zero, zero, negative two. Excellent. Uh, what about V of B, O, B? And in B. Mm -hmm. So does this point move or not? It's a body fixed point currently coincide with this location, right? So let's let's oh let's use another color. Uh, let's use blue. So this is my O of B, right? What is this point location currently coincide with this point? Sorry. This point, you can think about this point already on the body, right? It's already body fixed. So, <clears throat> so what's its uh, linear velocity? How do you compute it? It is, we need some calculation in this case, right? Is omega cross what? Is omega cross this? Huh? So the velocity, if you think about velocity, is omega cross this point, this vector, right? Okay, so it's omega cross r to b, uh, ob, okay, this vector. I want to use b to represent this thing, so everything you need to be represented in b. You need to detach physics from numbers. Okay, I find it out this number is 0, 0, negative 2 cross, what about this? You see this is RB, um, I, so that's why I somehow, some part of the modern robotics uh, notation I think is not that clean, is uh, there's a lot of implicit assumption made. <clears throat> so RB is the uh, is the coordinate of R in B. Okay, that's their notation, right? If you think about this is R, I will call in B, okay? Uh, R in B is this. So shall so we multiply this one? Negative of this one, because R in B is, is this vector, right? This is, if you call, this is my R in B. Right, so we need to multiply negative R in B. So uh, uh, this guy is negative R in B. So if we, 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 that would be negative two, one point four and zero. Okay. Overall, we have if you just do the cross, and the cross is equivalent to what matrix times the vector, and uh, <clears throat> It will be four and zero. All right, that's we got this one. I think that's enough. So overall, we will have this is zero zero negative two, two point eight four and zero. If I write these numbers, you don't know what they are doing, but now you should know this is nothing but putting two R three vectors together. That's a twist. Okay, now we'll see S. That's the last one. Will be omega S and V O S S. Okay, omega S, Ming Han. Okay, what about V S? V uh, of OS equal to uh, omega S cross Is that right? Mm hmm? What's that? 
R cross 2s, right? So this point velocity, this point velocity, this point doesn't move, first of all. S doesn't move, right? Only the car is moving. And we are VOS, it's the point of body fixed points to the car. Suppose the car is huge, it's rotated around this thing, and uh, what's this velocity? And that's that, right? If you want to represent everything in S, that will be that. And that will be omega S cross negative uh, RS as well, which is uh, negative 2, negative 4, and 0. Okay? This negative 2, negative 4, and 0. If you plug in the number, that's the answer. Uh, I encourage you to think, uh, to truly understand what do we do here? And the homework, the next homework, the first homework is due today, the next homework will uh, try to find 10 different ways to confuse you so that you truly understand. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Now let's talk about, we have truth coordinate, right? <clears throat> I have a twist. Twist is a physical quantity. I can represent it in A frame and in B frame, right? And their relation would be, the coordinate relation uh, depends on the two frame relation as well. So <clears throat> now we want to derive their relations. Okay, let's first think about, we have two, uh, frames. This is my A frame. This is my uh, B frame. This is frame origin. And uh, I have a rigid body here. Let's say here. Somehow I rotate. There's my rotation axis omega. <clears throat> uh, of course, I need to give you the two relations. Let's say I can give you T, B, A, which is what? R, B, A, T, B, A, 0, and 1. Okay, this is what I gave you, and uh, basically the orientation of 1 and the position of origin of B in A. Now I'm going to ask you, what's the relation between the twist coordinate V of B versus V of A? Um, so you need to relate all of these things, right? Let's first do a simple one. Let's first. Uh, what do you think the relation of uh, omega A and omega B, Stefan? Okay, because omega is a free vector, moves to a different place. <clears throat> okay, uh, so we have one relation. This relation, if we want to write in the, uh, let's not worry about that for now. Let's say this is my first relation, and the second relation that I need to derive is about V of A versus V of B. Okay, I. To simplify notation, V sub B means the origin of that frame, okay? <clears throat> Let's still think about coordinate free. Uh, let's think about this way. So coordinate free, then say V of A is what? Body fixed point. Okay, coincides with O of A, okay? This is the velocity of that. And the V of B is the velocity of with O of B. 
Now I want to ask you, Xun Han, V of A and V of B, what's the relation? Let's 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 do this, okay? You can use I mean, v of a is a body fixed point, currently coincides with the location of origin of a frame, right? And I can express this velocity in terms of other uh, twist. Let's say in terms of v b. So let's say v of a equals to if I use v b as a reference. If you use B as a reference to express A, then that will be VB. This is physics, coordinate free, okay? I, I didn't say any formula yet. VB plus omega cross what? You want to use B as a reference, so it's like this, right? B to A. Make sense? Of course, I can write VB in terms of VA as well, but let's pick one, let's pick this one. So that's my coordinate free statement. Although I have A and B, but this is really about a few vectors relation. Now I choose, uh, let's say choose A frame to express. this physics, okay? So we will have V of A. Um, let me better organize my notes. Let's say this one, I choose A frame to express the physics. Okay. Uh, so A frame, in A frame I'll have V of A in A equal to V of B in A times omega in A cross B A vector in A. Right? <clears throat> so I want to relate to what? To this guy. Right? Different frame. So I will say, of course, V of B in A equals to what? R of B A times V of B in B. Vector. This is a vector now, okay? All these are vectors. I I can change coordinates just by multiplying the, the, the rotation matrices. That's the first one plus omega A Um, <clears throat> BA in A, which is BA in A is weird, right? So it's negative. We can represent this. I'm not sure whether we can. So let's say uh, <clears throat> this omega A is the same thing. Let's say RBA times omega B, right? I'm just changing everything in terms of frame B. Uh, cross B A in A. B A in A is A B negative in A, right? So will be uh, I, I, I will just insert a few steps. This equal to A B negative in A. Okay, A B negative in A is what? Is negative. negative OB in A. Are you with me? This is O of B, right? AB in A, that becomes a coordinate of a point now. Otherwise, you don't have a coordinate of that point because that's a wrong representation of a point in that frame. Okay, so this guy equal to this. So will be multiplied negative. Uh, OB in A, OB in A. 
Okay, and uh, <clears throat> now we can just copy things down. This is R, B, and A, V, B, and B. Plus this guy, I want to A cross B equal to negative B cross A. Right, if you swap order, you need to multiply by a negative sign. So I will say this negative sign will be canceled out. So I'll have a O, B in A, that vector, multiply by uh, the whole thing like R, B in A times omega B, omega in B. Okay, so this equation here, O, B in A is a vector cross. I can have a shorthand notation. This is what? O, B in A matrix. Screw symmetric matrix we just introduced the last time, right? So overall, uh, <clears throat> I would say this equal to if I multiply this is row this this is a v omega b v of b of b this is my twist of b right I want to see how things if I wrote this then omega b is here right so what I got is two matrix one is o b in a skew symmetric matrix times r b a right multiply by this uh, the other one is still r b a times v b b okay so if i uh, also this one implies uh, omega a equal to r b in a zero times omega b v b and the b right so i put them together i will have a v of a which is omega of a v a of a right based on our previous derivations we know this is r b a zero first row times v of b which is omega b v b and b i'm not sure whether i write too too fast uh, the second row is this one which is r b in a this guy has o b a and r b a which is a six by six matrix, right? So we define it as, we define it as X, B, A. It, you can think about it as a change of coordinate or twist. Let me repeat. It's a change coordinate of twist. So, and we can, uh, <clears throat> well, these are too many those uh, indices. Sometimes I feel confused. Uh, so this matrix can be defined. If I, so let's say, let's just say, uh, let's do a shorthand notation is TBA, right? TBA, let's say just call R and the P, okay? Let's not use BA. Let's say that's clear from this context, the pose, okay? then. Then this x b a is of this form r zero zero r and this is p this is r okay this p is the origin of b and a okay and this format it turns out that we're uh, Marie and uh, also Kevin Lynch modern robotics they want to define like this is adjoint operator of this that's confused a lot of uh, people because if you want to truly understand what adjoint operator means i don't think that can be covered right so but if you from a physics point of view we derive everything it's just physics okay <clears throat> but i want you to know this notation as well be aware of them 
this is so called. First of all, this change of a coordinate matrix x b to a depends on what? Depends only on the configuration of b relative to a, which is characterized by r and p, right? So you give me a transformation, a homogeneous transformation matrix, which is r and p, then I can automatically construct this change of coordinate matrix. And this matrix is so-called adjoint of T, which is defined like this, okay? So sometimes I may use this notation, but most of the time I will just use X, B to A. Okay, when it's clear from contact, I may drop this B, A thing. It's a change of coordinate. Okay, so think about this. Given a homogeneous transformation, R and P, we can automatically construct a x, which is of this form, and this x is almost like a mapping, right? This is the input, this is the output, okay? And this is constructed by this so-called adjoint operator to T. You don't need to worry about adjoint here, okay? Just think about change your coordinate. Uh, oh, we have one minute. I think I need to use that one minute, okay? Uh, <clears throat> let's go back to this example. Not one minute. Okay. Uh, that may be Levi's exercise. I want you to do a change of coordinate. Let's say this is TAO. This is A, this is O, right? TAO equal to what? RAO, PAO. Uh, zero and one. Okay, I want you to construct the corresponding homo uh, change of coordinate matrix or adjoint, which is T X A to O. Okay, which is R uh, zero P R R. Okay, this is my R. This is my P. Right. And I want you to, to show or verify yourself the top in O equal to X A O times the top in A. Just want to check numerically, these are the, well, our derivation is correct. Of course, I think you believe me, but you can verify because we already compute this, right? This is a V A, this is V O. They are related by this. Verify that after class, okay? All right. See you next week. <laughs>